Hello friends, after studying the white box testing and the technique, let us study the first technique is static testing. Defined by manually. Now how manually? It is, it is done by human. The last point is mentioned is static testing is done by human. Static testing is a type of testing which requires only the source code of the program excluding its other API like binary files or exe files or its database files, db files, excluding all the files. We are just looking at the programming structure. So how the work is done? Static testing does not involve executing the programming on computers. That means which we are not using any tool. Remember, not any tool to execute the entire code, but involves a select people. That means there's a panel and there is a conveyor who leads this ahead. This, if I talk in a simple language, in a simple words, is a presentation. That means there is a one presenter who gives a presentation and their panel, the people who sits and ask, interrogates his questions or ask him what actually this mean and that mean. And if he's not unable to answer what he will do, we'll see this. So this static testing, what are the effects? What are the advantages? Let us see, by making multiple human read and evaluate the program, we can get a multiple perspectives. But we should not get wandered off we should be in one point that yes, I'm doing the construction work. The uh, construction work means I'm implementing the code. I have to do the function add. The add is A plus B, the simple one. But there will be many logics that people will talk about, but you should keep focus to your point. Of course, it will give you some ideas, some innovative things like how will you implement it in a more future. A human evaluation of the code can compare it against a specification or design and then ensure that it does what it is intended. Everyone will have the handouts, the presentation notes because everyone will come prepared and after presenting the code, after explaining the code one after the other, the people who are on the panel will ask the question looking at the handouts. They will evaluate whether this code is matched with your design, with your requirements or not. By making human test the code before the execution, computer resources is saved. Uh, this this point you will object, ma'am, how, how can you say the computer resources saved? See, Till then, till then, the error is not yet detected. The defects are not yet found. So your resources are saved. Because the time you apply, the resources you use will cost your company this logic you know from the beginning. So that means that it saves our resources as well. Now we see what are the methods in which the static testing takes place. The first is increasing order of formalism. The first is this checking of the code. Now normally, okay, we'll, I'll just list out, then I'll go one by one. The first is this checking of the code. Second is code walkthrough. Third is code review. And fourth is code inspection. Let's see the first thing, this checking. This is the author of the code. The first thing, this checking. No structured method of formalism to ensure the completeness. No maintaining a log or a checklist. This means this method relies completely on the author thoroughness and its skills. There is no process or structure that guarantees or verifies the effectiveness of this check. This checking, the one who follows this pattern, or one who practice this test checking process. We trust the presenter, the author of the code. We believe him. We will check our documents, our design, our requirements to see how, to what map, what extent he has done or he or she has done it. 
we say that developers or more precisely programmers who are doing the desk checking may not have a domain knowledge to understand. Now suppose, suppose if I am doing this desk checking uh, project, that my project would be on the domain. Now I hope you know the domain, the application areas for which you are working for like banks, schools, hospital. These are different types of domains available. Now if you are working on the hospital or in a school or university or in education department, you should understand the domain first. But if the code, the programmer, the coder does not have the sufficient knowledge of the domain, he or she will poorly code. Require to understand the requirements fully because the requirement will be certainly built based on the domain. The main advantage of this is the programmer who knows the code first and the programming language is well and thoroughly prepared and confident about his or her work. But if there are advantages, there are disadvantages. The disadvantages is the developer is not the best person to detect, of course, as we know. The, the, I have done the code. I will bet I will never be wrong. How far you will trust me? I'll never be wrong. I'll be wrong. I'll make a mistake. Code errors will be defected in a later part. So this, this practice is a little low or a moderate. Developers generally prefer to write new code. But sometimes the reuse code also works. This is essentially person dependent and sometimes it's informal. So it is advantage are this disadvantages are little bit moderate to practice. Code walkthrough. Now code walkthrough we say author explains the logic of the code then answers the question. If unable to answer the question, record the questions and find the answers. How does it work? The code walkthrough is little or less formal than the inspections. So, the author is explains the logic of the code. I think this point is very clear to all of you. Whatever the panel asks, he or she answers the questions. And if it's unable to answer the question, sometimes it's difficult to answer him or her. There is a recorder or a moderator who will record this questions and at the next meet again he or she ready to answer. The author explains the logic and answer the question but is unable some question he or she takes those questions find the answer. So completeness is limited to the area where questions are raised by the team. Next we have a formal inspection that means demanding to preparation before an inspection review. Enlisting multiple dice, dice views. There are plenty of views can generate. Assigning specific role to the multiple participants. Yes going sequentially through the code in a structured manner because this is an inspection one. So now, this method normally with high degree of formalism. Now the focus of this method is to detect all faults and violations. Then the author has made sure that code is ready for inspection by performing the basic desk checking and walkthrough. So, when the code is ready, in a ready state, an inspection is arranged. It's just like auditing. And there are four rules, inspections, four rules. The first is author, second is moderator who will check, who will expect it to formally run the inspections. Third are inspectors, the one who will, this actually provides review, comments, any question asked. And finally, there is a scribe, the one who takes notes during the inspections. So the author and the moderator selects the review team. The review, the one who sits in the panel, asks the questions. The team is formed. And the chosen members have skill sets to uncover as many defects as possible. 
So in the beginning, the inspector, as I earlier said, the inspector gives the copy, the handouts of the presentation that is called. They can be hard copies or soft copies, which is to be inspected, and other so supporting documents such as designing requirement documents, whatever the documents is required for during the presentation. Then, the inspection team assembles at the agreed time. They fix the meeting at 4 p.m. sharp at the meeting hall. So the review team comes at 4 p.m. Take their chairs, take the handouts, the documents they carry. The author starts with explaining the code. The moderator takes the team sequentially through the program code, asked, asking each inspector if they have any defects. A mis-execution defect is one way, as the name suggests, happens to repeat later, either in its work product or in other work product. So subscribe is normally take down the notes and found in the inspection meeting and author take care of fixing those defects. So in this way we have studied our four patterns or four formalism 